Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joining the studio today, Mr. Francois Rancy, who's the director of the Radio Communication Bureau for ITU. Mr. Rancy, welcome to the studio. Thank you, and good afternoon to you. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, smart digital developments. What does smart digital de development mean to you, and how is uh, ITUR, the Radio Communication Bureau of ITU, working towards it? Smart digital development is about uh, bringing to everybody on the planet uh, the benefit of being connected to internet, and not only everybody, but also everything. And uh, the um, main challenge for uh, making this possible is actually to ensure that everywhere you are on the earth, whether you are a human or a thing, uh, you can be connected. So this basically means the uh, mobile networks, which are in, in most countries uh, the main way of uh, being connected to internet, uh, mobile networks need to be developed to the point where this is made possible. So that's, that's what it means. From uh, the uh, ITU's uh, Radio Communication Bureau's perspective, which single innovation or innovative technology, product, strategy or, or policy is most transformative? The main challenge for the ITUR, which is in charge of developing the international regulations on the use of spectrum and the standards for the best use of spectrum, um, the role is, is essential in enabling um, this pervasive aspect of the mobile infrastructure to become real. So that's a challenge which uh, relies on, on the radio sector and um, actually it's very difficult to say that one single is, is essential. Uh, many uh, innovations are ongoing. They all tend to um, improve the efficient use of spectrum because given the exponential increase of traffic that we have seen in the last 20 years in, in mobile networks, um, the main uh, improvements are the ones which ensure that within the same spectrum you can increase the traffic. Of course, the role of the ITU is also to provide more spectrum, but uh, more spectrum becomes all, comes also with um, different aspects like if you want more spectrum you have to go to higher bands. If you have to go to higher bands then the service area of, of the network of the base station uh, decreasing, decreases very, very quickly. So um, basically you have both aspects to uh, develop the networks of the future. It's one is provide more spectrum, but the other, and, and probably more importantly, is to increase the spectrum efficiency and, and one key uh, area of technical, technological innovation in, in this perspective is the use of uh, MIMO antennas, which means multi-beam antennas which actually concentrate the energy towards uh, the particular user, whether it's a person or an object. And uh, what about um, the, uh, well, essentially this event here, what, are, what will be the highlights, do you think, of ITU's uh, ours participation in ITU Telecom World? Well, I, I think the highlights are um, in, in the forum discussions on, on Spectrum. We already had three in, in one and a half day on, on, on Spectrum, in particular for 5G and the World Radio Communication Conference preparations. Uh, there will be uh, another one tomorrow on uh, the uh, new approaching, approaches in uh, managing and using spectrum. And, and of course, if you go through the exhibition, uh, you, you will find a lot of products which are actually related to uh, the use of uh, spectrum for uh, providing connectivity. 
Have you got a, a message here for participants here in Durban and also for those watching elsewhere yes, around the world? So, of course, the um, ITU Telecom World offers a unique opportunity to exchange with um, the people, to exchange experience, but also uh, have access to new technologies, new ways of doing things. And so my, my advice is please uh, get together and, and connect to each other. Excellent, okay. François Rossi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Max. Right. <laughs>